Hi, I'm Claire Vanderpool, and I am here to share with you my uh, top five favorite books, or at least ones that are, you know, in the running. Uh, the first one is called Last Days of Summer. This is a uh, novel set in Brooklyn in the 1940s. It's a young boy who writes letters to his favorite baseball player um, and makes up things saying he's got malaria. Anyway, they, they develop a relationship, but the whole book is really fun. It's told through letters and report cards and, um, you know, short snippets of things. So it's a fun story, a great read, but as you go along, it really has a wonderful uh, poignant story as well. Um, the next one is Willa Cather, who I could pick any number of her books. I've read many and love them all. Uh, one of ours is probably one of my favorites, set in Nebraska in the plains. Uh, it's the story of Claude Wheeler, who um, is a young farm boy but ends up in World War One, and kind of a sad story, but um, beautifully written and set in the plains that I'm familiar with. Uh, Jaber Crow, written by Wendell Berry. I love Wendell Berry books. This happens to be the first one that I read. And his stories are all so beautifully rendered in, a, in the fictional town of Port William, Kentucky. They have wonderful characters uh, who are all very interconnected, um, whether it's a story um, set in the 40s, but they, there's a whole series of stories, you know, from the 1800s on up to present day and how these characters are all related, they know each other's pasts, and, um, and how we're all um, dependent not only communi on community, but on the land. And then I have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, which everyone's familiar with this story. Um, just one of my favorites. And finally, I picked, I'm not a huge nonfiction reader, but I picked one um, for this little collection, a book on writing. I had it narrowed down to two. I went ahead and went with Eudora Welty's book, One Writer's Beginnings. Um, I, I was thinking also of Flannery O'Connor's Mystery and Manners, but I chose this one because it's basically uh, the story of how she began writing, but her um, main elements in storytelling, which are listening, learning to see, and finding your voice, which are um, very inspirational to me and in my writing as well. So those are my top five. And I want to send a big uh, congratulations to everyone involved in the Kansas Book Festival. I've been involved um, many years, if not every year, and that's something we should all be very proud of. So thank you.